Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today I just need to clarify a few things with um equals. Oh, what's it called? What is this next one called? Not equal to. That's it. Finally. Oh my god, that took me so long to figure out. Equal, not equal to, less than, less or equal to, um, greater than or greater than, greater or equal. Man. Um. But, yeah, today I'm just going to be going over what all of those mean and everything. Because some of you don't really know um, what I'm talking about when I'm actually saying, like, oh, yeah, this is EQ or an EQ, you know? So I'm just going to go, um, I just like to call them NEQ anyway, because, I don't know, it sounds better than neck, you know? <laughs> or gek. Gek sounds kind of cool. But, anyway, let's just go through it. So, today... Um, we'll just get this out of the way. I don't want that to be here. Hopefully that's out of the way. But, um, we're just gonna go ahead and get out all that stuff. So, equal, equal to, um, not equal to, um, so that's what that means there. Um, so I got that kind of wrong. So even this video is teaching me something. So not equal to, less than, uh, less or equal than, greater than, uh, greater or equal than, and then we got the coders comment, which we'll get to that last. Okay, now, um, uh, what's it called? We got here, uh, let's see, can I fit all of that in? Yes, I can. Alright, um, basically here, as you can see, we've, I've put, um, a bunch of games for us, so... Um, first thing we're going to do is, we're just going to get rid of that. So, now, let's look at this. Okay, so, uh, put this away, and, look, so we got, um, here, title equal to. Okay, now, um, what this does is that, um, okay, so we can see, let's just play the game, I reckon, and, because I made a game with them, which took me about two hours to make all of them, I think. Okay, now, I'll just quickly size this down, down, um, two, so you guys can see it. Alright, there we go. Alright. Uh, there we go. Okay, so, welcome to Randomizer. The goal is to try and get three. If you get three, then you win $250. Okay. Um, money is $0. I need to fix that a bit later. Randomizing. Oh, man, you didn't get three. Here's what you got. You got four. Okay. Um, you want to play again? Yeah, okay. Let's play again, and it's randomizing. Um, oh man, you, you didn't get three. Here's what you got. You got four. Okay, and then we randomize it again. What are we going to get? We got one. Okay, damn it. That sucks. And, wow, good job. You won the game. Do you want to play again? No. But if we do play again, then we get money. Our money gets to $250. And if we end up winning again, we'll get to $500 and so on. So, yep, there we go. We won the game. And then we go, and then we get $500. Which is pretty damn cool. Um, now let's just go and show the code for that. Okay. Now, as you can see here, we used equal. So what this means is that um, if... Okay, so one thing I'll get down for you. So and it's easy to understand is that set slash a rano, which is just a, a random variable that it just came up with, you know? And what it's going to do is it's going to equal random. Now I'll quickly create another file for you, and I'm just going to show you what random is, okay? So if I just do that, I haven't set it to anything, okay? And then I save this as a batch file. Um, I'll save it as random.bat we go and then I'll open the file here random and, and let's size that down here. And look at it gives you a random number now if I were to quickly change that code to go to top so I could show you um, oh, top here and then we just quickly minimize that and then here and then it gives you a completely random number. I forgot what the limit was and what the, um, I think the minimum was one, I think it was one. 
but that's what random does. That's what the random um, va variable does. Um, so that's what that's doing. So it's setting the variable rando. So that could be anything. That could be money if I wanted it to. Um, and we're going to set rando to that random number, but we want it to be somewhere between 1 and 5. Now, what we can do to cap that out, um, we do two percentage signs, and the number we want it to, its limit to go to, this, which I want it to be 5, and then its lowest number that I can go to is 1. I think you actually have to put 2 there, and then its lowest is 1, but I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, and then it's going to pick a random number, so when it goes to that line of code, it's going to pick a random number between 1 and 5, or 0 and 5, I think it is. Um, if that, if rando, or let's just call it rand, equals 3, then you win, okay? Because the end of the game is to get 3. Um, so that's all that's doing, and it's just, if it, if, um, it equals 3, so... Not if it's greater than or something, you know. So that's what equals is for. Is to um, see like if you get this number, then it then go to one or something or lose, you know. So that's what um, equals does there. Um, and you can see we did pretty much the same thing here, but we just plus money with money. Um, and yeah. That's pretty much equals. If you didn't understand that, um, not sure. <laughs> I think I'm just that bad. But anyway, let's just go ahead and do Niku, which is our next one on the list. Um, now, with Niku, um, what is it? It's not equal to. Okay. So I try to add these in as well as I could, which took a bit of time to do. So, um, welcome to Guess That Prize. So let's go ahead and actually give this game a play before I just, um, say anything. So, oh, oh no, the little thing's going. Alright, there we go. Welcome to, oh, that's not exactly in the frame. Yeah, welcome to Guess That Prize. How to play, there will be a list of options um, to choose from. One of those options will be your prize. Guess wrong and you lose. Guess right and you win. Sounds good. Alright, now well, let's guess. Okay, so we got 0 to 4. Now I'm going to guess coal. Ah oh, man, you should have guessed 1, not 4. I guess I should have. So let's play it again. I guess a way to kind of win this is to just keep guessing the same number over and over. Well done on guessing that. Remember, there is no skill in this game, just pure luck. Want to play again? Okay. And then you get a win streak there. So if I guessed it again, then my win streak would go up to two. But I lost, so it goes back down to zero. So that's how that one works. Oh, why is that another window up? So let's go back into the editor. And now, um, where is NeQ? Control F. Let's find Niku. Right, so down here, Niku. Okay, so we got Niku here. So if the answer that you put on is not equal to rando, so that means um, if I put in uh, one as my answer, and it doesn't equal the random number that the computer chose, then it's gonna lead you to a fail because you didn't guess the computer's number. And, um, but if you did guess it, well, um, then, uh, what will happen is that it would set your streak, it will plus it by one, and I'll give you a congratulations message. So that's basically what NeQ does. I couldn't find out what to do much with NeQ. Um, some of the games seem kind of the same. But, um, that's pretty much all I did. So, and then here, if, um, and then if you go to fail... I also did here, um, if you go to fail, uh, if the answer that you put in, so y or n, is, uh, not equal to y, then it will exit the app, or not app, um, it will exit the, uh, batch file. Alright, next on the list is less than, alright, now let's do less than, let's play the game real quick. Alright, 
Let's put that in, put it in the frame. Alright, welcome to the shops. What would you like to buy? Um, we can buy anything within our budget. So we can also beg for money. Parents give you $100. Let's just quickly beg. A lot of money, so they're not rich. Alright, there we go. And now we can buy... Oh, it seems like I haven't finished doing the prices. I, I was a bit cut on time there. Um... We can buy a bag. Lol, you know, you know, you now own a bag. So it'll take twenty dollars off us, okay? So now we can go and buy Legos. Legos cost a hundred and fifty dollars. No, fifty dollars. Oh my god, what the hell? Sorry, it's like nine o'clock now, so it's pretty pretty late. It's p.m. Um, and then we can buy the shop, which costs five hundred dollars. And we have um four hundred fifty dollars left. Can buy some food. Oh, you, 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 you now own the food, right? That was only ten bucks. So you get what this is about. You just go to the shops and you buy whatever you want. Now, so I'm gonna show you the code. All right, now that we've got the code open, we're just gonna look at it. So, um, so less. If your answer is less than eight, so the answer that I put on. So, say if I wanted to go to, um, if I wanted to buy a bag. Um, and it's less, if, if it's between 1 and 7, pretty much, uh, if it's between 1 and 8, then it'll go to the answer, where, if your answer equals 1, then it's going to set the item that you bought to the bag, okay, and then it'll set the price of the item, and then here it'll also set, um, it'll do basically the same thing, but just um, for the one that you chose, and it'll set the item to the computer because that's the one that you bought. And now, um, where else is less? So, if your money is less than price, go to no money. You don't have enough money for the item. Um, you can type beg at the start to ask your parents for money. All right. Um, so that's pretty much what less does. If you have less than the amount that you're supposed to have, then it will lead you to a fail or Either a win, probably. Who knows? However you want to implement it into your game. But for me, it's with money. So if I want to buy something at the shops and I had less than uh, the item's cost, which is $50, then I wouldn't be able to buy it. So then it would lead me to like a no money, you know? So that's how less works. Or LSS. Okay, now let's uh, get out of that one. Next one, next couple of uh, lines of commands so we, we're gonna do um, less um, uh, less or equal than greater than and uh, greater or equal okay now before we do anything let's just play the game I reckon yeah so let's quickly shrink it down to size so that you guys can see it yep yeah. welcome to level system um, press any key to continue um, wanna level up just type L and press enter or go to the shop by typing shop okay let's go to the shop money you have one thousand dollars i'm gonna buy some paper you bought some paper there we go now we can level up and then that levels us up and we can also just press enter and then welcome to the vip area because we reached a higher number than 10 so that would probably be greater or equal than or just greater than 10 probably and then exercise out now, as you can see here if your level is greater than the number 10 then it's gonna take you to the vip area okay so that's greater than um that's where that works there and um where's some other ones that i use so then you got equals to See, you already know what that is, because you have been teached that now, taught that. And now, uh, if level is less or equal than 5, so if you go to shop set, so, um, where is it? Huh, less or equal than, seems like that didn't want to work before. I'm guessing that's because when we um go to shop, yeah. Because I didn't go to shop set. So we'll just quickly do that. To see if that will work. We'll put that in. We'll just do this. Right. And here. And then we want to go to shop. You don't have a high enough level. Okay. Now that works. Okay. So. 
We know that that works, still doesn't work if we go level up to level five, oh, level six, I found and then, then, and then it takes us to the shop because we're a high enough level now. Or as you could say, we are old enough to go to the shops alone now. That's one way to put it. So if your level is less or equal than five, go to nope. It's going to say um, you don't have a high enough level for this. But if your level is greater or equal than five, go to shop and then it takes you to the shop. That's how that works. Now, if your money is less or equal than nine, go to no money because that's how much the paper costs. If the paper costs ten dollars, then you'll have to have ten dollars. So, if you are less than e or less or equal than nine dollars, then it's going to lead you to no money. Same uh, kind of thing happens here. So, less or equal than nineteen dollars. I did one more because if you have three hundred dollars for some reason. It didn't want to work, so I just had to do $299. And that's how all of those work. So that is... What is that? Oh, I need to move my folder out of the way. And then there. Alright. So that is less or equal than, greater than, greater or equal than. That's how you use all of those commands. That's how greater and equal than works. Now... If you want, I will be putting these in the description, um, only because then you can check out that code for yourself, um, so then you can have a look at yourself, you can maybe even copy it if you want, um, to get a reference when you're making your own game. But um, other than that, oh, I almost forgot we have code as comment. Now, I didn't do a batch file for this because I didn't see a point in it. So, these two little semicolons, are they called, or are they just called columns? I forgot. Um, there, those columns, those column columns, um, is just a comment for the person who was coding the program. So, all it is, is just a simple comment that only the person, um, that is editing the code can see. For example, this next line of code is where the HP gets set to, um, 50%. So, this is an example here, so, imagine I'm in a program right now, like, I'm writing my own program, I was at echo off, and then it's like, title game like fighting game or something fighting game and and then there we go this next line of code is where the hp gets set to 50 percent because your hp is at the maximum 50 percent so then uh the person who's writing the code remembers oh that's right this is what this place does here you know that's what a i like to call coders comment or programmers comment so it's two semicolons like that, two like that, you just do two of them. That's um, what that is. Now, for example, in Notepad++, if I were to just go new here, at echo off, um, title, game, and then here, HP, oh, HP set is here set HP oh, equals 100 go to next and then if I were to save that test dot bat the coders comment will be green um because then that then you know that's a comment now the other way I'm pretty sure is just by typing ren and then that's another way to do a coders comment so like um for example this um or the li line of code on under this is where the hp gets set that's basically what the code is common is and that's all that's all for today i guess um if you found this video somehow helpful in some way, um, please do let me know and leave a thumbs up uh, because it would be really helpful. It really would be. It would mean a lot to me as well. Thank you guys for watching so much and I really do appreciate if you made it this far. Um, please leave a like and a comment if you made it this far. Um, uh, type a comment and in that comment do do all of these names here. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. You don't have to do that. Or just do Coda's comment if you've made it this far. 
Um, but anyway, um, thank you for watching, and make sure to subscribe. See ya.